Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today I wanted to do a video for you guys about a mask I've seen a lot of other people make videos about, and it is the Carbonated Bubble Clay Mask. It is by the brand Bio Aqua. This is, I believe, a Korean skincare company. Um, what this mask is, is it is supposed to keep skin young and beautiful, keep skin energetic. So that's what the box says. So now reading the usage, like the directions, um, they say word for word, after cleansing or facial makeup before the state, take appropriate mask evenly to the face. Do not apply thick layer of cream. It's slightly thicker than the thickness of a little bit on it. Paint it about five minutes until bubbles start to bubble up to the most risk to the peak time. Hand massage bubbles a minute or so to fully dissolve into the pores of cosmetics with dirt. Then rinse with warm water. Use two to three times a week is recommended. Sensitive skin with caution. So I do have sensitive skin, so I guess I am taking a risk by using this, but uh, what I wanted to see is it looks fun, so I wanted to see what it would be like. Um, so those are instructions. So from what I gather, you put it on after you've washed your face. You put a thin layer on, you leave it on for five minutes, and then you rinse it off. The interesting part about this mask is that I was reading the ingredients because, I don't know, it's probably a good idea to read the ingredients of what you put on your face. And I'm reading it, and it, it's all, like, things that are, like, not really throwing me off. It's water, glycerin, propylene glycol, um, alcohol. And then one, two, three, four, five, six down on the list of ingredients. And it's a whole list of ingredients. So it's, there's a decent amount of this in the mask. It says hydrolysis placenta proteins and then pig in parentheses. So I looked that up. Like, what does that mean? It really can't be pig placenta, can it? Oh, but it can. So, this mask contains pig placenta, and I think that's the jab at why they put the pig on the front. I was like, oh, it's like a cute pig. A lot of companies in Asian countries use like little cute designs for their marketing. No, they just put pig placenta in the mask and wanted to be funny. Okay. So, now it's time to prepare to put big placenta on my face. So now, I'm going to take it out of the box. And it looks like this. It just comes in, you know, a normal container. And then it also comes with a spatula, I believe, to apply it to the face. Yes, to apply it to the face. And then you unscrew the top. And then it has, like, a little cover over it. Okay. It smells just like green tea, um, which is something I'm very okay with. There's no green tea or anything like that in the mask, but there is fragrance in it, so it's probably from that. So I guess now you just scoop some out and put it on your face. Oh, this is making me so nervous. If I'm completely broken out after this. I'm not going to be super happy, but at the same time, it's my own fault. So let's see. <laughs> I already got some on my pants. Alright, so from where I've put it on already, it's burning a little bit. Not a lot of it, a little bit. Okay, I actually hear it bubbling already. Oh, what do you do in your spare time? Put pig placenta on my face. Is that a good enough layer? I hope so. I'm just sitting here for five minutes, waiting. This is so weird. I can feel it bubbling. I can hear it bubbling. I'm waiting here like I know what time it is. I really didn't even look at the time. We'll say at 
It's been five minutes. So I guess people use pig placenta, they actually drink it in Japan. Placenta is used as a breast enlargement product. Yeah, you eat it. Chio milk was a breast enlargement drink? Food? So I guess in Chinese medicine for thousands of years they've used pig placenta. And I guess lately there's been a new trend of moms eating their placentas after giving birth. But they don't eat it raw, they cook it. So it turns out animals actually eat their own placentas. So what it does is it helps shrink the uterus. It also has low levels of oxycontin, which helps to relieve the stress of the birth and helps with the ejection of milk. I'll try anything once, so. Let's zoom you guys in a little more again. So yeah, it's bubbling, but it's not what I expected it to be. Did I put too heavy of a layer on? So you can see the bubbles. I feel like I could have put too much on. Okay. So it's been five minutes with this on my face to... Um, I'm a little disappointed, actually. It bubbled. But not to the extent I had hoped. I think maybe I put too thick of a layer on. But my skin is definitely feeling a little burning and irritated. So, the next step is to rub it in. Alright, got it in my eyebrow. I definitely think the layer I put was too thick. Like, I feel like it didn't get really a chance to bubble. All right, I'll be right back because I need to go wash this off my face. Okay, so I just finished rinsing that off of my face. And what do I think about it? Um, I would say it wasn't bubbly enough for it to be fun. Um, it irritated my skin a little too much for it to be for me to want to keep trying it out to see if it's actually beneficial to my skin. Um, Cause I do have sensitive skin. My skin feels cold. But other than that, I don't know. I don't feel like, maybe my skin looks a little better. I don't know. I don't know. I need to, it's hard to test skincare because really it's not something you're going to notice an immediate effect with. So, this is that. Would I recommend it? No. Is it fun to say you put pig placenta on your face? Yeah. Am I about to go out and buy pig placentas and eat them? No. Don't buy this mask. It's not that fun. It's not that exciting. And maybe I'll use it again in the future, but it won't be because I loved it. It'll just be because I have it. So thank you for coming to my channel. If you like this video or if you are interested in seeing more videos like this, please subscribe. Um, and also, if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. So thank you so much for coming and watching my video. And I hope you guys have an amazing day.